hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy flower ring so this can be used as a keychain a back charm and we can also use as a wall hanging so let's get started i'm using a bangle the size of the ring it depends upon you how big or small you want and i will be using two ply yarn you can take any kind of yarn you want so let's get started we need to make Two flowers one big and one small so let's start with the bigger flower we're going to start with the magic ring chain one make one single crochet in the ring chain three make one single crochet in the ring chain three one single crochet in the ring chain 3 one single crochet in the ring chain 3 one single crochet in the ring chain 3 one single crochet in the ring We have completed 5 chain 3 so this is going to be the last one. We are going to chain 3 and make a slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch. We are going to close the magic ring. So our base is completed. We have 6 single crochet and we have 6 chain 3 space. Now we are going to make petals. Make a slip stitch in the first chain 3 space. We are going to work in this chain 3 space. So we are going to chain 2 for the first petal. And in the same space we are going to make 4 double crochet. Now we are going to chain 2 and make a slip stitch in the same space. So our first petal is completed. We are going to make a slip stitch in the next chain 3 space. Let's repeat the second petal together. Chain 2 for the next petal. In the same space we are going to make 4 double crochet. Chain 2, we are going to make a slip stitch in the same space. We need to repeat this and complete all the petals. I'll just go ahead and complete. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So our flower is completed. Let's make the smaller flower. I will be using white color yarn. We are going to start with the magic ring. Chain 2 for the first petal. In this ring we are going to make 2 double crochet. Chain 2. Make a slip stitch in the ring. So our first petal is done. Let's repeat one more petal together. Chain 2. Make 2 double crochet in the ring. Chain 2, make a slip stitch in the ring. So our second petal is completed. We need to repeat this and complete 3 more times. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. I've completed all my petals. This is my last chain 2. I'm going to make a slip stitch in the ring. We're going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends. So second flower is completed. We have completed both the flowers and now we are going to arrange them together. We need to make three more such flower. 
And now we are going to make the leaf. We are going to start with the magic ring. Chain 3 which is counted as 1 double crochet. In this ring we are going to make 11 double crochet. I'll just go ahead and complete all my double crochet stitches. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I've completed all 11 double crochet stitches. We are going to close the magic ring. And we are going to make a slip stitch in the third chain. So for this row we have a total of 12 double crochet stitches including chain 3. So our first row is completed. And now we are going to make the leaf. We are going to chain 4. And now we are going to make a double travel crochet. Yarn over 3 times. Insert the hook in the same stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through 2 loops. Pull through 2 loops again. Pull through 2 loops. Pull through the last 2 loops. We are going to make double travel crochet 2 more times in the same stitch. Now we are going to chain 1 and make a slip stitch in the front loop of the previous stitch. And we are going to make 2 more double travel crochet in the same stitch. Chain 4 Make a slip stitch in the same stitch So first leaf is completed Now we are going to make 3 slip stitches in the next 3 stitch In this stitch we are going to make another leaf, we are going to chain 4, make 3 double travel crochet in the same stitch. Chain 1, make a slip stitch in the front loop of the previous stitch. And we are going to make 2 double travel crochet in the same stitch. Chain 4 Make a slip stitch in the same stitch So we have completed We are going to fasten off the thread and weave the ends We need to make 3 more such leaves 
in the same way so the distance between the leaf it also depends upon you if you want more distance you can give more slip stitches and now we are going to cover up the ring with half double crochet I'll just go ahead and cover the half portion of the ring. I'll see you guys after a couple of seconds. So I've completed half portion of the ring. Actually it's more than half. And now we are going to make a slip stitch and we are going to fasten off the thread. So our ring is almost done. Now we are going to attach flower and leaf to the ring. First we are going to adjust the flower by tying the flowers to the ring. Once you're happy with the arrangement, apply glue to the flowers and leaves and attach to the ring. I'm going to add some tiny beads in the center of the flower. Let it dry for a couple of seconds. So it's done. You can add more flower if you want. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.